Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and I am so happy to be here with you guys, as always. Um, we are trophy bushing in Golgotha right now. You can see that I am at 2024. Um, I think that's the highest that I've ever been. I've never really trophy pushed this far bef before besides in my quest of 2,000 trophies. And once I got to 2,000, I kind of just jumped back. Um, but why don't we go ahead and jump into this thing guys we are going to remove all and i'm going to do a live base build with you guys okay so um i i asked you guys what you wanted to see and a lot of you said that you wanted to see a hybrid base so that's what we're going to do today all right i designed a hybrid base in clash of clans builder.com and that's what we're going to be doing right now um i just want to apologize for any kind of annoyance that the microphone might give you or anything like that. Um, I've ordered a microphone. I'm waiting for it to come in, um, and that should change things. But um, why don't we go ahead and jump into this, guys, and just start uh, designing this base, all right? Uh, I love the new base build feature, guys. Um, I am definitely going to be building a lot more bases for you guys. Um, I'm going to be making a series of it. This is not going to be part of that series right now. Um, this is just going to be a generic base build, but what we're doing right now, obviously, is oops, <laughs> is a Town Hall 8 hybrid base, um, and what a hybrid means is that you, for those of you who are wondering, many of you who have requested obviously know what a hybrid base is, um, but a hybrid base is really used to protect your trophies and your resources. Um, so you want to, you don't want to make it easy for people um, who want to attack your base and um, steal your resources. So you don't want to make it too easy for them. So you um, kind of design a base that protects your town hall a little bit, but really not too much. Um, and that way, people um, don't just come and attack your base for um, just for fun, just to steal your trophies. Um, because a lot of people like the area that they're farming at, and they don't necessarily want um, to change where they are. I need to remove this. Um, so that's why a lot of people will run with a hybrid base, because they really want to protect um, the trophy range that they're at, or just because they don't want to lose trophies, which is understandable. For some reason, there's like some kind of pride thing behind trophies, like, oh, I want to have trophies because it's cool, so I want a hybrid base, whatever. Um, I would never use a hybrid base. I need to, how, shoot, can I not take that back? Can I undo? Select row. Remove. Okay. Um, so I would never use a hybrid base just because I feel like you kind of just need to make up your mind. Um, <laughs> but I know I've designed one in the past, um, and it was pretty cool. I don't even know if I came up with a name for it or not. Um. But the thing about hybrid bases for me is just that either I'm going to be farming or I'm going to be protecting my town hall. Um, and I know that you can, I know that you can do both, um, and it's not too hard to do so. But um, it just doesn't seem too necessary to me to do that. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm building on screen right now, so this is a little. Um, I don't know. All right, let's restart. So what's up, guys? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so the thing about so like I, I don't I don't have that much against um, against trope or against hybrid bases like this. I think that they're okay, and I know that a lot of people like them, so it's okay for them to use them, um, especially if you're just kind of hanging out and you're not too serious about things. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. A lot of people requested it. Um, I am definitely definitely going to be. Um, I'm definitely going to be making more farming bases, more trophy bases. A lot of them I won't save, especially since right now we are pushing uh, trophies in Golgotha. Um, we are trying to get up to the top 200, so we'll we'll see how that goes, guys. I'm definitely excited for that. Um, so definitely follow. I'm going to be mentioning it a lot in my videos, obviously, because that's kind of a big deal. Um, and I'm I'm definitely excited about it. Um, we're just going to remove this whole row and I'm going to start over. Um, so I'm definitely excited about it. And um, I think that it's going to be a lot of fun to push. 
and it's going to be really cool to see where uh, where we make it to because, you know, getting to the top 200 is not easy. Um, and it's going to take you guys. So if any of y'all think that you have what it takes to make it to the top 200, um, meaning that you are like level 80 and up maybe, I don't know, um, then go ahead and request to join the clan, guys, because we are growing um, and we are definitely looking for skilled players who would like to trophy push because the thing that's annoying about trophy pushing a lot of times is that people don't really um, people don't really want to trophy push because they're all about the elixir and all about upgrading their base. But I'm kind of rambling right now about things that um, don't really deal anything with this with this base design. So um, I'm going to get back to this base design. All right. So um, right now, obviously, the town hall is not that important because it is a hybrid so the town hall is sitting off to the side um, just kind of hanging out it is protected though and it will take a pretty good deployment of troops in order for someone to attack the base and um, successfully take it over so that is the main reason uh, why people make hybrid bases is because a lot of people who are just out lazy trying to get trophies and whatnot won't attack your base um, and that's good as I was saying earlier for people who don't want to lose their trophies um, so yeah that's the whole reason behind this um, and what I'm doing right now obviously is triangulating the defenses guys that is the most important that is the most important thing to do especially with well actually really only with well no you have your come on seriously <laughs> Um, that is the most important thing to do with your splash defenses and your um, and your air defenses because if you triangulate it, they practically cover the entire base, which is what you need and what you have to have in a base. So one thing for anybody who has built a base ever, never do anything without triangulating um, your wizard towers, without triangulating your air defenses without triangulating your mortar or anything like that. Never, ever, ever build a base without doing that because it it just won't be effective. That is the most effective thing to do um, when it comes to base building. So for anybody who builds their own bases, anybody who, I mean, if you're copying this, obviously you don't have to worry about that because I'm triangulating stuff. But if you build your own base and um, you want to... I don't know. You just want to be unique and have fun building your own base, which is understandable because that's why I do it. Like, I have one base that I really like. I really like my hurricane base design. It works really well for me. But I have fun designing other bases as well, and that's why I do this. Um, it's fun. That's that's part of the game is designing your own base and being like, okay, I think this is going to work well, so I'm going to play with this. Um, that's a lot of the fun of Clash of Clans, in my opinion, is... Um, is base building obviously um, so if you are building your own base and you don't want to copy these still take into account um, the things that I say so that you will be able to um, effectively effectively design a base that will um, withstand attacks and will do a good job for you because um, obviously that's the whole point of building a base right is protecting everything that you have um, so the, one of the best ways to do that is to triangulate your mortars, your wizards, and your um, air defenses. And then another very important thing to do is to spread out your point defenses. So as you can see, I have archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, two cannons, and then another um, archer. I actually probably could take this um, archer over to here to one of these cannons, but that doesn't really matter. Um, but it is very, very important for you to um, spread out your, your um, is that in the right place? Yeah, it's in the right place. It is very important for you to spread out your point defenses as well. Um, okay, what did I do here? Oh, get out of here. Remove. Um, it is very important for you as well to spread out your point defenses just so that you can make sure that your base is fully covered um, by all types of defenses because if you just if you have one side with just cannons then you're going to run into issues of um, 
of range on the other end and you don't want to run into that so you want to make sure as I've been saying that you um, that you do that and you spread out your point defenses very very well um, we are going to where is it we're gonna take this guy put him up here and then um, because we want to we want to protect this top portion even more um, with the hybrid base design you want your town hall to be protected but you don't want it to be too protected um, you just want to make sure that people don't just come over here and just like attack your base just to attack it because um, because they can get some trophies for it and then maybe some free resources so you got to be careful of that um, right now what I'm doing is I am spreading out the uh, collectors and the barracks and stuff so right here goblins can attack this goblins won't attack these two until they get to these two so you want to make sure that you don't put things right next to each other when it comes to that kind of thing um, just because someone can lazy farm you and you don't want that to happen um, and then we're going to spread these out down here and let's take this one put it over to this side now I think we're close to even um, and guys that is pretty much the base design right there, the hybrid base. Um, everything else that you're going to do, obviously you can see all of my things down here. We can go ahead and start pulling all these out. I'm actually not going to save this base um, because I want to continue trophy pushing. Um, so I'm not going to be able to show any replays of it um, because, again, my whole point in uh, Clash of Clans right now is uh, the trophy push on my other... Uh, not why am I saying on my other account? I'm such a freaking weirdo. <laughs> so the whole point right now for me is um, trophy pushing on this base in my main clan, um, and that's very very important for me. So what you really want to make sure that you do um, with this is try the base out if you want. I know that these wizards up here are a little bit close, um, but that's okay. Nothing really on here can be killed by. Um, Two things on here can't be killed by lightning spells right now. So if someone were to drop right here on this wall, they wouldn't be able to take out both of those. Same with this. Um, so that wouldn't really be an issue. Um, but here's the base design, guys. I'm not going to lay out the rest of the buildings. Just do what I always do and spread out the things evenly. So do like barrack, um, gold storage, builder's hut, elixir storage, barrack, so on and so forth, all the way around the base. And you should end up with something that is effective. So guys, what I'm going to need y'all to do for me is try out this base if you want to, um, since it's so easy to build now, and you guys comment and let me know how it's worked for you. All right. Um, and as always, guys, you can um, you can kind of you can move these things around. Like if you want to spread out your wizard towers more, you can do wizard tower over here. You can bring in this elixir storage, and then um, come on, seriously. And then once again, you can bring this one in um, and bring this wizard tower right here as well. So that spreads those out a little bit. If you want to do that, that's fine as well. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Um, I have it up right now. I have over 6,700 subscribers, guys. This is so awesome, so surreal, and I can't thank you all enough. So thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are awesome. You're so much cooler than me. Um, and as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I will see you later.